Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly and I also go by Carly B Sims on both Tumblr and TikTok. Welcome back to Oasis Diaries. Today we are going to be playing episode two. Before I get into the episode, I did just want to disclaim that I will be linking a Tumblr post for each episode of Oasis Diaries, which will have the details for each episode. Kind of like how the description box has a bunch of details to do with the lots, mods. I decided I'll put it all in one place. For each episode, I kind of want to do like a resource list. So definitely check that out in the description box if you want to see some details for each episode and I want to try and do this for every episode of this LP and even future LPs. I'd like to try and do that if possible. Hopefully I can keep up with it. So let's get into this episode. As you guys can see we are at a cafe. Val is just sitting outside right now just for this nice sunrise shot. So Val is here with her best friend Josie who she also works with. It's technically like a work from home slash day off for them but they're taking this day to work from the cafe, write some articles, for the company and she is going to be filling Josie in on everything that's happened with Theo in the last episode and in game time it would have happened maybe like a few days ago like I think two or three days ago maybe yeah we'll see how Josie responds to it because Josie does know about Theo as well they all went to university together and one more update I have is that Val did get a promotion while I was doing some play testing she got a promotion real quick I decided to just leave it because it, she just went up from level three to four it's not really a big deal the work schedule was the same it wasn't like a huge promotion or anything like that it's just like a little bit of a step up so i am very excited to take you guys through a work day in val's life in this episode that is going to be the whole second half definitely want to have a big portion of this episode to be about her work day and you know interact with teddy at the workplace and see how that goes since you know the relationship did take a little bit of a turn i was not expecting them to gain friendship and remove that hate bar so fast and gain back the romance bar so quickly. Someone did leave a helpful comment that you can adjust the friendship and romance difficulty using MC Command Center. So I did make it a little bit more difficult for them to gain friendship and romance because I just thought that would be more realistic for the gameplay, especially romance. So with that being said, all the updates out the way, let's get straight into this episode. Uh, As you guys can see, Josie and Val are just catching up right now after ordering a coffee. I'll also need to get Josie one as well because she still hasn't ordered hers. But Val just got a perfect pre-workout shot and she just got it in a takeaway cup. Oh, it looks like she's just finished right now. But she's just caught Josie up on everything that's happened with Theo so far. Everything that basically happened in the last episode, which in game time would have taken place a few days ago, maybe two to three days ago, I think. But it's the week after that. So yeah, we oh are actually- oh my gosh, that's Val's boss! Yeah, that's actually Val's boss literally right next to her, but he lives in Oasis Springs as well, so it makes sense. But she has pretty much caught Josie up on everything that's happened with Theo, and Josie was just like, you know what, proceed with caution. I know how you two are because remember these guys were all in Brightchester together, so they all know each other, like Josie knows Theo. And yeah, she's just basically said, you know, do what you want. You know, you're you're your own adult, but just proceed with caution because I'm gonna be real with you, you and Theo have a bit of a pattern and you guys tend to fall back into that pattern every time you guys see each other again. So Val's just like, oh, it's it's fine. Like, you know, we're just trying to be civil now that we're working together. So she's now caught Josie up to date with Theo. And I just can't believe her boss just happened to show up. Well, since he's here, let's just brighten his day, kind of suck up to him. It is like her day off from work anyway, so it's fine to see him. It's not like she's skipping anything. Um, let's just do some small talk with her boss. Um, ask about his day. So this is Ian Hunter. He is her boss at Walrus Publishing and Media. So this is who she reports to. You would have seen that she texted him actually in the beginning of the first episode in the cinematic intro. So yeah, they just said hi to each other. Josie also works for him, of course. Yeah, they're just catching up, but... These two are just gonna go off and do their own thing now because obviously 
they were not expecting to see Rob there. And while they chat away, I'm just gonna show you guys a quick tour of the place. So this is the Big Shot Cafe. It is a cafe I built because I have been experimenting more with trying to learn how to build actual buildings and not just design the inside of it. So I'm pretty proud of how it turned out, but it is really simple. I'm just starting off simple right now. I can't really do anything too complicated. It is a really nice cafe in Oasis Springs right next door to the Oasis apartments that Val lives in. And it's a place a lot of people like to come to to work. So there's a lot of corporate people who go here. But yeah, as you guys can see, we do have some seating outside. This is just an overview of what it looks like inside so it is like a industrial warehouse vibe almost like it was a warehouse that was turned into a cafe and this is also a view of the outside i'm really happy with how this cafe turned out and i also wanted to get into building in case i ever want to like share some of my builds which i might do if you guys like them but it is hard because you have to link every single piece of cc you use and i want to build freely like i don't want to restrict myself so i tend to use a lot of cc so to agree with like the terms and conditions of custom content creators especially for sharing builds and things like that you have to link like all this cc and i want to give credit where it's true of course but that is going to be a long list so if you guys do like this and want me to share it maybe i can eventually start working on that that list of cc to link for you guys so i can share that and that is just another angle of the inside because you guys didn't see this side that was the entrance we have some plants over here and then that's where they are currently at and we have the door to the toilet here just nice and simple there's a bush cutting into it but yeah so just got four cubicles and then like identical sinks on either side and that is also what the cafe area looks like like where you order and things like that when you go upstairs, this is what the workspace looks like. And yeah, this is Val's favorite spot when she just wants to get out of the apartment. Because as you guys can see here, we have this opening at the back of the outside. And you can literally walk from there to Val's apartment over here. So it's literally right next door. I love Val's location. It is so convenient. But yeah, I really love the idea of converting Val Street into like this trendy area of Oasis Springs that people love to visit at where everything pretty much happens. Like we have the cafe, we have a vegan restaurant here. And then over here, we have the spa that I built. This is the Lotus Spa, although I might call it something different because there's a tree in the middle. Maybe I'll call it like the tree spa. <laughs> the Lotus Spa sounds a lot better, but it's got like this whole feature tree, but I really can't wait to visit this. I might do that in the next episode. All right, so now that these two have had their first coffees for the day, we're going to come upstairs over here. Let's sit over here and we'll get Josie to sit down. And we are going to start writing. I'm going to write a genre book because as I did mention, Val did get that promotion to advise columnist and she is now level four of the writing career. So right now she has to write books and reach level four of the writing skill. She's currently on level three and oh. Josie is a writer's assistant. She is literally level zero. I didn't know that was a thing um but yeah actually i think it's not fully showing because i'm just controlling her using the mod so these two are just working now and it is so pretty like look how aesthetic this is there's nothing i love more than just working from a really pretty aesthetic cafe it just gets me so motivated to work and it makes me want to work. But yeah, so I'm glad Val has officially caught up Josie because she needs someone to vent to about everything. While she's excited, she's also a little bit like overwhelmed because, you know, she's not dumb. She knows what Josie's saying is true. She knows that her and Theo obviously have history, which as you guys would have seen from the cinematic intro, which I hope you enjoyed, we are going to be seeing flashbacks to the past for the cinematic intros as well. So I kind of want to do this thing where we do flashbacks and they continuously kind of just like unfold the story of their past, her and Teddy, and how they met and what exactly happened between them. But yeah, these two are just having a really good time working. It just makes work a lot more fun with Val when she gets to do it with her friend. Oh guys, we reached level 4 of the writing skill, yay! And we're 50% done, we're 50% done with writing our book. Oh my gosh, Josie, have you been talking and slacking off the whole time? Let's get you to practice writing. Oh, last exception. I'm getting so many last exceptions. Guys, I'm so sick of updating my game because of all these patches and stuff. But whatever, as long as it functions, I'm rolling with it. Okay, Josie is getting stuck into work now. 
I love her outfit so much. If you guys like any CC outfits that they're wearing, please let me know in the comments below. And if a lot of people ask for the same things, I'm going to add it to the resource list that I'll create for each episode so that people can just visit there and, you know, see some of the frequently asked questions that I might have been asked before. It looks like Val finished writing her book, so why does it say 50% done? She wrote an entire book. Do we have to write two? It's 11.39 a.m. Let's write another... Oh, we can do poetry. Let's try doing some poetry. She needs to practice, like, all sorts of different writing. Oh, and it looks like Josie is languishing skills. Josie is complaining that she hasn't worked on developing any of his skills in a long time. I just summarized it. Wait, stop. Hot daydreaming. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Valentina's head remembers the O'Hara fondly as memories of him begin to populate her mind. The task at hand is just an afterthought as qualities of Theo manifest themselves as strong echoes that bring Valentina intense amounts of joy. Their encounter last time was too brief and now Valentina is thirsty for more. When the chance to meet with Theo arrives, it will not have come soon enough. Sims like these should be cherished. There aren't that many of them out there and it was a stroke of good luck or even a miracle that allowed Valentina to meet one that ticked off so many of her wishes and desires. Girl, calm down. <laughs> Please calm down. You guys literally just hated each other like two or three days ago. Oh my gosh. I feel like she's going to be writing like romantic poetry about him or like saucy poetry about Theo right now. This is like definitely going to inspire her for her writing. I can't believe that. That is so funny. Look at this man. Look at his fake tan. He's got that like Bondi Sands tan on him. He's so orange. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but anyway, how's our writing going? 75% done. All right, we're nearly there. Nearly there. So we have... Actually, I think we've written two books. Oh, we have so many books to publish right now. Amazing. Guys, why is Josie so tense? Let's talk to her. Ask about favorite author. Can we, like, ask about her love life? Let's see if that option comes up. Ask about another sim. Okay, let's ask Josie about Elliot Hayes because we did see that they had some romance. And also, the to your neighbors, say congratulations on getting that big promotion at work. You deserved it. Okay, Josie said, I like Elliot. He is pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> there's not much there. She's not giving much away. I mean, I guess their romance was just budding anyway. So nothing's happened with that yet, but we'll see if that progresses at all. I'm so excited for you guys to huh. see a work day in Val's life. Why do I like offices in The Sims? I don't know. Because it's just so like realistic and it's actually something for me to relate to because I work in an office that I just love it. Like it makes me romanticize work. And I love dressing Val the same way I dress. Like literally all of Val's outfits, they are like things I've worn before. Like this isn't far off something I've worn as well. And like the sandals are like the same as well. Oh, guys, let's look at her moodlets as well. So she has one step ahead from being an overachiever. Okay, great. Probably because she got like a level up or a skill level up. She loves writing. She's so cute. Um, feeling happy from the cheerful trait. I don't remember giving her that. Um, bright eyed from drinking perfect pre-work shot. Another from my repertoire from gaining a skill. Attractive memories for thinking about attractive sims. Valentina's mind is rushed with memories of a certain sim in particular. All the qualities that brought joy to her eyes have made it a hard task to think about anything else. And nicely decorated. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Oh, we're complete. All right, guys. We have officially finished all of our work from home tasks for the day. I don't remember giving her this cheerful trait. Life's been busy, but just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. Hope all is well. Oh, guys, that's a one of the editors at the company. I think her name is Mona. Where is she? Yeah, it's Mona Bagley. Yep. Um, so this is Mona Bagley. She is 
working at Walrus Publishing Media as well. She is a boss girl and she's kind of inspired by Jessica Pearson from Suits because <laughs> this was going to be like Sorry. a whole law Finalito. Let's Play series. And she is kind of like the head of the What's writing that? department. And so Ian does all the journalism that? stuff and uh -huh. Mona does all the well, publishing. Okay, yeah, Valentina's literally Clever wrote day, three baby. books now. <laughs> Amazing. Like, tell about woohoo styles and preferences. Uh, I mean, uh, who else are you going to tell that except for your best friend, you know? Yes. They love to talk about that stuff. Yes. Discuss work. She's going to be like, oh, I just don't know what it's going to be like at work with Teddy. Thanks. And Josie's just gonna be like, you know, just make sure HR doesn't see you guys, like, acting all snaky or anything like that. Oh, she's tense. She's like, Val, I don't want to hear about your love life anymore. <laughs> Leave me alone. I just need to work. <laughs> We've had a pretty good catch up with Josie, so... Ask to be, ask to be woohoo partners. This girl is so flirty. She's just, oh, oops, I pressed romance. <laughs> She's just so flirty, I can't. All right, let's stop it. Let's give her a hug. It's like 3.25 p.m. We're gonna go home and just unwind for a little bit. Prepare for the next work day. She's like, nice to see you. I'm gonna head home now. She's like, I'll see you at work tomorrow. All right, so we will meet you guys at home now. Okay, so we are now back at home, guys. I'm just working on filling up Val's needs. So she's filled up her bladder. She's probably going to have some dinner and just unwind for the rest of the day or the evening. You know what? I'll get her to shower first. Take a cold shower. Yeah, why don't you take a cold shower, Val? And I also do have Wicked Whims just to update you guys. But there's so many cute interactions like showering together and like, you know, dancing together in like a saucy way. Um, did she already shower? Because that was fast. Anyway, I don't think she even showered, girl. Uh, let's take a steamy shower then. Okay, we won't take a cold shower. Let's take a steamy shower. All right, Isla Haynes is calling her. Jules Rico and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? Um, yeah, if it's casual friend time, yeah, go for it. Okay, I'm just being a little careful on what you guys can see. Um, I think that was a little too close, actually. <laughs> But anyways, she's just showering right now, and we will get her to change into her pajamas when she's done. She's gonna wear like this cute lounge set that she has. It's a little dressy for at home, but she likes to dress for herself, you know? Okay, oh, she's so cute. Let's go blow dry her hair, girl. Oh, she's just gonna do it in the same spot. Oops. She's so cute. All right, let's get ready to make some food. Okay, guys, as you would have seen, Will Spencer did just come over right now. He said, hello, anyone home? So this is a very unexpected visit. We were not expecting to see our landlord slash <laughs> woohoo partner that. here. And he's just come in and made himself at home. He's just turned on the radio. So we're going to greet him because, you know, we weren't expecting to see him. Let's see. Small talk. Just ask about his day. Oh my gosh, he's like already setting the mood. She's like, you know, what are you doing here? Like, I wasn't expecting to see you. Let's get her to give him a hug. Oh my gosh, what? Hi, Valentina. It's me, Will. Do you want to go on a date? Okay, it's perfect timing. We're not going to go to my Shuno Meadows, but I was planning for Will to show up unexpectedly. And he's just like coming over to have like a little date night with Val just at her place, just something intimate. So he is going to have this date, but it's going to take place in her apartment. So we're just going to say no. Just going to give him a hug. Oh, why is he angry? Let's see his moodlets. <gasps> No! Wait, what? What did I just. What? Why did Will say that? Being mean isn't his thing. Guys, what just happened? He turned on romantic music and then he threw a drink in her face. I just like. I'm gonna insert a rewind real quick because I was in the middle of narrating when that happened. Let's see his movements. <gasps> okay, yeah, that's wild. 
Um, and <laughs> guys, you should see me. I've just like fallen back in my chair. So he throws half drink thrown at by Will and then woohoo. Oh my gosh. These two are just getting right down to business. But wait, I am. I'm just like, I've got whiplash. I literally have whiplash right now. Guys, Valentina knows his woohoo interest. Just ignore that. I can't believe them. Like, he literally. I just can't get over the fact that he threw a drink in her face. And then she's like, all right, yeah, that worked for me. Oh, guys, was it like roleplay? <laughs> but I feel like Val should have been the one throwing the drink in his face. You know what? Maybe it was roleplay. Maybe they're like trying something new, you know? You know, they are woohoo partners. This could be like where Val and Will really explore like their freaky side. <laughs> Guys, it was too out of pocket that the only thing I can draw conclusions on is the fact that it was maybe like some roleplay because they literally went to woohoo right after. Guys, this episode is just panning out so beautifully. No, stop. No protection was used. I don't want to look. <laughs> I'm not gonna look. Because, guys, don't worry. I'm not having an early pregnancy. We are not gonna have that, okay? She's not having an early pregnancy. But she's completely satisfied from spectacular woohooing and feeling steamy. I think the throwing a drink in her face, like, really worked for her for some reason. So while she's asleep, Will actually came prepared. So... He actually brought some food and wine for her, so he's gonna set that up while she sleeps so that when she wakes up, they have something nice to eat. Okay, guys, so right now, Will is just preparing some Burmese samosa soup for him and Val, and he also bought this expensive wine, as you can see right here. He bought some red wine, and it was 900 simoleons, guys. Yeah, Will has that money, okay? Also, it's the orange slippers for me. So Will has set up the table, so I'm gonna get Val to wake up. And I'm gonna have them grab a serving here. And Will will grab a serving. And then they can grab some wine as well. Oh, this is so cute. She's like, oh, you've made food and bought me wine? Oh, this is my favorite oh, brand of red it. wine. Thank you so much, Will. She's so spoiled. Oh. <laughs> she loves her spicy food, guys. She loves the, you know, she loves the thrill of spicy food. Um, God let's get them to grab a drink oh, and get her to grab a drink. Oh, this is this is actually really cute. This was oh, very unexpected because oh. honestly, guys, all Val has been thinking about the last few days is Absolutely. Theo. She actually hasn't really been thinking about Will at all. Pima? What do you think? She wants to eat sure. food right now Too and big. listen to Latin pop music Pelton. and chat with one of her coworkers. Okay, she's ticked off that whim. But you know, yeah, so as I said, she wasn't really expecting this and honestly, she just has not been thinking about Will at all, but she really appreciates him literally just coming over and making her dinner and buying her expensive wine. Talk about fantasies. She hasn't gotten her bottle of red wine yet though. And also another update, I did turn on Extreme Woohoo in my game because I wanted the drama and I wanted, I wanted the spice to happen in this series, guys. I needed the spice in my life. She needs to get her drink. Um, but yeah, that was one of the MC command settings that I did use. Oh guys, not the romantic music as well. Aw, be embraced. Uh, Dedicated follower of fashion. Okay. What's this? Filthy surroundings. She's always saying that. Guys, this apartment is literally spotless. There's like one dish out. I bet she's complaining about that too. Are you finally gonna get your red wine, girl? Yes. Oh, guys, she must be like looking at the stars right now. Oh. <gasps> That's what she's seeing, guys. She's looking at the stars. Oh, there's like a waterfall in the distance. I didn't even realize. Guys, this is so beautiful. I love this Let's Play series so much already. Like, it's literally becoming one of my favorites. Compliment appearance. She's like, I really like your orange slippers. I just love this series because it's so like not chaotic right now because I'm not dealing with a family of like, how many is in the Falls family? Three kids, two parents, two dogs. 
That's a lot, guys. That is a lot. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of, you know, things to take care of. Because, you know, these sims need taken care of. They just can't do things on their own. She's gonna put that away. And then let's call him to grab another one. They definitely have to have another drink of wine. And tomorrow she has work at 9 a.m. And I think Will is going to actually stay the night with her. He's just watching the TV. Guys, as you can see, they really have their routine down pat. He comes over, they get romantic, they woohoo, they eat. He chills and watches things. She puts her things away, her dishes away, and then they probably woohoo <laughs> some more. What a beautiful woohoo partnership they have going. Just drinking their red wine. Oh, don't doesn't he have like the romance music playing inside? Can we slow dance to that? No, if they slow dance, they're gonna do it outside. Bump and grind, stop! <laughs> That's not bump and grind music. Let me see. You know, she doesn't slow dance with this guy. Water leak! Well, we have a landlord here. Oh no, something has sprung a leak and the water is out. The neighbors could also be affected. Call the property owner to sort out the problem or attempt to fix it yourself. Mop puddles and repair or replace all broken water objects. Guys, this is literally like how they met. This is exactly how they met. So they were gonna dance together. But, you know, they had a little water leak situation. So, Will is going to repair that for her because, you know, what else is your landlord for aside from woohooing? Oh my gosh, the spills went all the way to the bedroom. It's flooding her apartment. Oh my gosh, there's one over here too. <gasps> Will, you can do all of that. That's why he's here. Perfect timing. Guys, everything is just lining up perfectly this episode. I'm just telling you, this Oasis Diary save, like, there's nothing better than starting with a fresh new save. You just start completely blank. The game just, like, runs its best when you start a new save, honestly. Girl, where are you going? Don't tell me there's a puddle all the way out here. No, stop it. I don't know where you're going, but you don't need to go all the way out there. Okay, great. He fixed the shower. Let's get him to fix the sink. Yeah, so this is exactly how they met. I was playing off camera and we had to call him over to fix her toilet. And, you know, she found him quite attractive. I'm pretty sure. Let me actually double check that because I can't remember. Woohoo partner is perceived as attractive. Yeah, so she finds him attractive after he fixed the toilet. She's like, did you want to stay for some coffee? You know, thank you so much for taking care of that. You know, you're a really good landlord. Everyone always talks about how great you are. Because he is, he is a good landlord. He's very attentive to them. So yeah, and then they honestly just like woohooed the first night. <laughs> and began this beautiful woohoo partnership. So there's some puddles in Val's apartment. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm just going to leave it. All right, these two are just gonna sit down now and she's going to thank him for... She's gonna kiss him. She's gonna thank him a lot for, you know, repairing her shower and sink. Let's do some romantic flirtation. Um, just flirt with him, be like, thank you so much. You know, you're so handy. Oh, she feeling dizzy. Ask about swinging with Sim. <gasps> oh my gosh! Ask about Wulu life history. Got another exception. You're the only Wulu partner I can remember ever having. You're full of shit. <laughs> I bet it isn't true. Anyways, ah, take pregnancy test. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the toilet and then they're gonna go off to bed. Oh my gosh, it's 4 a.m. No! I was not expecting it to be that late already. She got new sentiments with Will. Um, adoring. Oh, cute. She got an adoring sentiment. Okay, what are these other ones? Yeah, has to pee and low energy. So she'll need to catch up on her sleep. I don't know how to play at the storyline to not have a baby if she is pregnant. I set the risky woohoo to 10%. Is that too much? Maybe I should have done 5%. Why didn't they use protection? You know the drill, Will. So I've just had these two go to bed. 
they actually have to get up soon. It's 7 a.m. the next day already. Will is probably just going to quietly make his exit. So I'm going to have him wake up while Valentina goes to bed. He wants to clean this up. That was in his queue. And we'll just turn that off real quick. And then we'll have him change into his usual work clothes. And then he'll probably just make his way out while Valentina sleeps. She understands. Like, she is not fussed about that at all. As you can see, Theo did come over. He was actually going to see Valentina. They were going to head up to work together. He was planning to go to work with her since they're literally neighbors and they work in the same company. Knocks on the door only to see his landlord answering it. So he's a little confused right now. He's just going to say, hey, how are you doing, bro? And... Theo's gonna talk to him, talk about neighbors. He's just gonna be like, oh, do you were you fixing something at Val's place? Like, pretty early in the morning. He's like, oh, you know, she had a water leak issue. So I just had them sit down. They're just gonna chat um, because Will was like, oh, you know, Val's still asleep right now. I think I'm gonna get him to ask about another sim. If I can do that. Yeah, so I'm gonna get Theo to ask Will about Valentina. Just be like, how do you know Val? Are you guys close? see what he says. Oh. Oh my gosh. Theo's like, sure, dude. <laughs> because, oh my gosh, I can't believe Will just said... Will just said, I'm so in love with Valentina. I can't. All right, well, it's literally going to be work time, but I did just want to show you that quick little interaction that Val does not know they had. I didn't realize that it was already 9 p.m. So we are going to follow Val to work and get on with that part of the episode. But yeah, so as you guys can see, Theo came over, was expecting to see Val only to see Will, his landlord, opening the door. He is definitely feeling a little bit confused because he was not expecting them to be that chummy and he was not expecting Will to say, I'm so in love with Valentina. Like, he's actually a little bit taken aback by that. He's quite taken aback. Let's see if Theo brings this up to Val at work or not and how they interact with each other because he's definitely very taken aback. So we're going to follow her to work and see you there. Val is now at work and she's sitting at her desk, which is next to Josie and Elliot. But first of all, I'll show you guys a quick tour of the building. So this is Walrus Publishing and Media. It is a build that I built myself and I've placed here in what I like to think of as the business park of Oasis Springs. And I'm very proud of this. It's very blocky for sure, but I wanted to go with a very simple, modern office look. Nothing too complicated, especially since I'm pretty new to building, but I hope you guys like how it turned out. So I'll quickly show you guys the floor plan. This is the floor plan of the reception area. This is the cafe, all pretty similar. The toilets are identical on either their side and then upstairs we have like the workspace this is a collaboration area and just another area over here and these are where most of the desks are i just kept the area pretty minimal and we have the main boardroom or conference room over here in the middle and then we have a third floor and this is where the kitchen is and this is where the bosses sit and here is actually theo's office this is the hr office so as you guys would have seen from the intro we have this cafe over here that val was grabbing her morning coffee from and that is what the cafe looks like when you enter it the barista is not here right now though i think she's on a break but yeah val got some coffee here and this is what the seating area looks like just nice and simple, not too much. And this is like a little waiting area over here. And then the toilets are back there. I'll just show you the toilets once because they are the same on both sides. But we've got like this reflective wall and some seats here. And when you enter the toilet, this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, guys, the mirror is missing. Oops. But it's just really simple. Not much to it at all. 
Did I put the mirror on this side? Yep, I put the mirror on this side. I just forgot it for that one bathroom. But it's a little morphed, so that is what the toilet looks like without being all stretched out. And then both sides of the building have this TV. They just have a TV here for anyone who's waiting or needs some entertainment. And also we have elevators on either side as well. And these are the Ravishing elevator portal animated doors. So it's a really good mod. I highly recommend this. I will link it in the Tumblr resource list for the episode. But yeah, I highly recommend this elevator modded door, especially if you're going to be using the residential rentals. It's a really good option if you're going to build your own apartments. But this is what the outside looks like. It's just nice and simple. And you guys also would have seen a glimpse in that mini montage I did of the office. But this is the reception area. We just have the Walrus logo over here and we have the receptionist sitting here and this is what the seating area looks like on this side look at how the sunlight hits it and then we also have the matching couch over here and then the tv there and like i said the identical toilets wait why is there a shower here okay i don't know <laughs> can you please ignore the fact that there's a shower there i didn't even realize i must have I think I put that there before to wash off Val's woohoo sweat because I was taking photos of her. But yeah, I completely forgot to remove it. And then when you come upstairs to the second level, this is like the main workspace area. So like I said, conference area, work desks, another collaboration space. I won't go into like a cinematic tour for the whole building because we're gonna see a lot of this building in the series because I really wanted to make a Let's Play series that actually revolved more so around work because I haven't really done anything like that before. And yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of this building. This is what the office looks like. Just a close up. We've got the vending machine, microwave, fridge over there. And yeah, we have the kitchen over here because I think some of the tasks that Val used to do had to do with like actually cooking food for the office, which is really weird. But I really love the way I decorated this space. I feel like it's very modern. It definitely reminds me of a Melbourne city, like very modern city office building. And actually the city branch of the place I currently work at looks a lot like this. Like the interior is very similar to this, especially like this kitchen. I'm very happy with this build. I love how much I relate to this save file, honestly. And like I said, on the top level, we have the boss's offices. So this is Mona's office, which I wanted to show you because it's so cute. This is her little desk area. It's like so stylish. Like I would love this life. And she's got her Hermes bag here. She has like her little seating area when she has her employees come up here to have chats with them or one-on-ones. Oh my gosh, the lighting. I can't, I'm literally obsessed with her office. This is where Val wants to be someday. Although she's going to be more of a journalist, she wants an office like this someday. And she has her little bar cart when she needs to unwind because, you know, they work late hours sometimes so they just hang out at the office. And she has some traveling stuff here and her shoes here because go to different meetings, they travel interstate or to different countries and stuff like that. So they're always on the go. And each office has like three chairs outside for people waiting for a meeting with the boss. And then this is Ian's office and he is a lot more classic. He's got like a vintage typewriter and he's got his glasses here, his headphones, his watch, his like planner. And it's very simple in here. And he's got his traveling stuff on this side. That's like a photo of him and his kids and his family on like a camping trip. Me just making that up. Like we all have seen this portrait in the game. Um, He's got his own little bar cart area, of course, for celebratory drinks. This is his sun lounger seat. This is where he likes to relax because Ian likes to do a lot of relaxing. He likes to ask his employees to do a lot. And he has a TV in here for him to like unwind and watch TV. But yeah, I'm super happy with how this turned out. Oh, I completely forgot to show you Theo's office. So Theo does have an office, guys, because he is a front page writer. He's pretty important at the company, but he did just move into the office. So it's not really that furnished. And that's his like little work bag. And yeah, it's really simple. And on this side, I imagine this is like the HR room. That is what it looks like on this side. And one more touch guys, I did add this closet. This is the supply closet, okay? Or the cleaning supplies closet. This is right in front of Theo's office and right next to the kitchen. That's why it's right here, of course. It's a necessity, but you know, we do have, we do have some options here, but we're not gonna get into that right now because we're professional. 
But anyway, let's get straight into this workday. Val is apparently really hungry. I forgot to pack her work bag, guys. I think I'm just gonna get her to have like a quick meal. She's going to have her oatmeal because she has a snack drawer. As you guys can see, the desks have drawers here. Guys, this is identical to my work desk. Guys, the inspiration for my Sims game is just getting more and more realistic, guys. It just makes life more fun when you get to put it in the game in a prettier way. But her bottom drawer is like her snack drawer. She keeps her breakfast here, her matcha powder here, everything she needs to get her through the workday. And yeah, I guess right now she's just having her oatmeal. Where's she going to have it? Oh, she's gonna have it at the collaboration table. Let's talk to one of our co-workers, Gunter Munch. Pretty sure he's like from somewhere else. Like, isn't he from Windenburg? Anyway, I gave him a makeover and he just showed up as one of the co-workers. So yeah, I gave him a cute little makeover. I haven't makeovered everyone, obviously. Um, you can tell the difference between my Sims and Sims that come with the game. But yeah, I guess she's just catching up with them, just having a chat. But let's get on with our work task as well. I think I'm just going to introduce you guys like throughout the series to the co-workers and the bosses and stuff like that. But we're gonna get her to sit down right now. She wants to ask someone about their favorite author. Let's see if we can do that. Do we know? Oh, we don't know Sam. He's, he's actually a B-lister. Oh my gosh, and he's just sitting right across Val. Um, let's ask about favorite- oh, there we go. Ask about favorite author. Because Elliot sits with us. This is like the friendship group, guys. Okay, so- oh, she needs to ask about favorite author twice. Okay, we'll do that. And then we need to browse the web. Also, if you guys are wondering how I just search up the interactions, it's with the Smarter Pie Menu mod by Twisted Mexi. Then we just need to browse the internet twice, and then we need to start writing a book as well. So let's do that. Guys, we have like- we're gonna have four books to publish after this. I'm gonna do a short story. Looks like Josie's getting up to go somewhere. Apparently Sam's sitting in Josie's seat right now, but how do I talk to him about bestsellers? Can I do that? I don't even think that interaction's coming up. It's not. All right, let's just tell Elliot a story then since I can't apparently um, do the other interaction. Where is it? Stories, stories. Yeah, tell a dramatic story. Let's do that. That's the interaction I was looking for when we were speaking to Josie. I just don't get when all these different interactions come up. <laughs> oh, she loves writing so much. Flavor enhanced from microwave food. Oh, she liked her microwave food. Okay. Guys, I love this. Like, I love the tall floor to ceiling windows. Oh, guys, she has to tell a story five times. Oh my gosh, right? Write a book eight times? It's- Wait! Flirt! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. This is taking me out. Why is there so much happening right now? No, stop with the hearts! Stop it! Oh my gosh, stop. Why do they keep getting romance? I can't. What? Val, what are you doing? You just- Why are you talking about Rocket Woohoo? Val, please stop. The minute Josie gets up. Okay, look, Josie and Elliot don't have anything going on, but I guess Val doesn't know that though. So it's okay. She's not being a snake because she doesn't know that Josie and Elliot have a little thing going. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. Stop it. Stop it. I can't believe this. Valentina has noticed that Elliot's eyes are lingering on them more and more. There's an intensity to their stare, and with their attention fixed squarely upon them, this might be the chance to move things into a more intimate direction. Is Valentina going to accept Elliot's advances or ignore him? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna accept it. I have to. This is the single and loving it lifestyle gameplay, guys. 
Oh my gosh, she's accepted Elliot's advances. He looks excited, anticipating the opportunity of experiencing a passionate moment with Valentina. She can do whatever she wants with him for the next few hours. Girl, you're at work. HR's gonna get you if they catch you. Val, she's she's on the streets right now. Um, Valentina's workday will end in one hour. Let's extend it. We are going to extend this. We're gonna stay late. I think we're gonna get a promotion after today, guys. Guys, she is getting promoted real quick. Oh, look, are they having a meeting? <gasps> that is so cute. It's like they're gonna have a meeting or something. Oh my gosh, guys, Valentina literally finished writing another book. Guys, this is like the most successful work day I've had. I just, guys, I'm in awe of how smooth my game is playing right now because it is usually so buggy. And honestly, this is one take. This is the first take, and I never get episodes done in the first take. I'm so proud of myself, guys. I told you this is just some kind of magic in this Oasis Springs Let's Play series. What are What is everyone doing in the boss's office? She's probably like, guys, get out of my room. Get out of my office. I'm the boss. I know I leave my door open. So she leaves her door open because she really welcomes everyone to come in and have a chat with her, check in on them. She's a very attentive, attentive. Oh my gosh, I think I said a tentative earlier. Is it a tentative or attentive? She's a very attentive, attentive boss. So everyone's always welcome to have a chat with her, but you know, they're really taking advantage of it now. Whereas Ian always has his door closed. Like that's so funny to me. Oh, she's talking to Sam now. And she's feeling so flirty. Do you work out from talking to attractive Sam? Is that from Sam or is that from Elliot? I hate these high school notifications. Val has pretty much finished the workday. She's walking into Teddy's office looking very tired from it. And we're just staying back at the office a little bit later. And she's just going to catch up with Teddy because she hasn't seen him all day. And obviously they had a really good encounter the last time they were with each other. But she hasn't seen him since then, even though they're neighbors. Because like I said, guys, she didn't see him this morning. He did see Will, but he didn't. She didn't see him. So she's just going to check in on him, see how he is. Because yeah, she just hasn't talked to him much. I'm going to get Val to flirt with him. And he is actually going to be a little bit rude to her. He's going to insult her because he's a little bit in a bad mood, but still weak to her charm. She's just like, oh, what's wrong with you? Bad work day much? And they lost a little bit of romance and she's feeling a little bit uncomfortable because she doesn't know why Teddy was suddenly so brash with her. Um, let's see what else we could do. Oh, he's in a bad mood now. Arguments. They're gonna argue. Give the cold shoulder. Okay, that's perfect. I didn't see that. She's gonna be like, you know, what's wrong? And then he's gonna... <laughs> he's gonna be a child. He's giving her the cold shoulder. That is so funny. She's like, um, excuse me? Why are you acting like this when we literally started fresh? Like, what happened to literally just like three days ago? And he's like, why don't you ask Will? And she's gonna be like, wait, what? She's like, what do you mean, Will? <laughs> the thumbs down. Okay, we're gonna do emotions and we're gonna learn insecurities. And she's just gonna be like, what are you talking about, Will? Why do you sound like a jealous boyfriend right now? She's like, Will and I do not have a relationship. I don't know what you're getting so riled up for. He was at my place this morning because he was fixing my shower and my sink. And yeah, maybe we do have a little bit of a thing going on, but that's not really any of your business, is it? And he is going to apologize if that's an option. Let's see if he will want to apologize. Woohoo in closet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's obviously ready to apologize. Oh, it doesn't even come up. I guess he doesn't even want to apologize for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, he wants to woohoo in the closet, but he doesn't want to apologize for being rude to her. Oh my gosh, guys, not the not the office lights going off and these two being at the office late at night. Okay, so it seems right now argue about career just so they can have a little bit of an argument. He's just going to be like, I'm sorry, like, I'm just in a bit of a bad mood after seeing that. I just thought, you know, things were going to be a little bit different between you and I. She's like, Teddy, 
I don't want to fall back into old patterns. Like, I don't think this is a good idea. Maybe we should take it slow because we work together. And he's just getting more frustrated because he doesn't want that. And now she's getting frustrated. He's just really thrown off from seeing Will there. Alright, he looks like he's calming down, so he's gonna hold hands with her. Let's see if she even wants to or if she'll shrug him off. Oh, he's in an angry mood. Argument loser! He lost the argument. Yeah, he's gonna be like, you know what? You're right. Like, I shouldn't be so reactive right now. I'm so sorry. And I know we have a history. And I don't want things to be like that anymore. I want us to get along because we work together now and we're in a professional environment. Oh, guys, they... <laughs> they made up so fast, I can't. He literally went from argument loser and angry to hot and heavy. Ah, the sweet shared touch of another sim. What does he want to do? He wants to kiss Valentina. Oh my gosh, I can't. I knew that I wanted them to have like an, a heated argument that led to something, but this just happened way too naturally. Like, that is so funny. This game is just like... Oh my gosh. Look at them. I just can't believe how this episode's gone. He wants to woohoo with her. Guys, he wants to woo... This is... This is something, guys. This game is just... The storyline is playing out exactly how I wanted it to. Let's make out with Valentina in here. No, girl, you're not napping on the bench. You guys are gonna yeah, get knocking. some. I'm gonna sneak a quickie in the office because literally no one's here. Oh my gosh, guys, it's a ghost town. <gasps> Wait, Elliot. Okay, we're gonna ignore that. Okay, so these two have gone into the closet. Guys, I just cannot believe the way that this played out. Moving on up. Oh, also the workday did end as you can see. It's already like late at night. Like they stayed back late at work and she got a promotion. I feel like it's pretty easy to get a promotion with this mod when you tick off the daily tasks. But yeah, she's now a level five regular contributor. I guess it's really easy to get a level up um, in this career. Oh my gosh, guys, what is Elliot doing here? Let's get Theo to talk to him. Oh. He's like, oh, he's walking away. He's like, all right, Theo, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> so I think she is going to woohoo with Theo in there. They literally are hot and cold. I have never seen like such hot and cold Sims before like this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, my jaw is open. I was not expecting that. I was I was not expecting them to be in such a frenzy. That is that, that's wild. That is so wild. As I feel like this whole episode I'm just like staring at my screen with my mouth wide open. Should I start doing like random episodes with my face in it? Oh the heart stop it. Guys, I wish you could see my live reactions to this whole episode, like I I low-key wanted all this to happen, but I I literally wrote out that I wanted this stuff to happen, but I didn't expect it to happen at the same time. Like I did not think that it was gonna play out so perfectly. And now she's eating grilled cheese. She's like, ah, oh, that got me famished. I'm gonna eat some grilled cheese now. Oh, that's that is yeah. Anyway, so no protection was used. We're not going to address that in this episode because no protection was used with Will either, and I'm too scared to check the toilet right now and i don't want to so she's gonna have her grilled cheese and i think we're gonna end the episode off all right guys it is quite late now in the day or in the night so these two clearly stayed back for quite a while the office was literally a ghost town by the time that they left and that they finished up their affairs but yeah i just can't believe everything that happened in this episode and everything that's happened in the first two episodes of this let's play series as i said i wanted the spice and the mess and the game has just presented itself to me i'm so excited to keep getting into this let's play series because i feel like it's like really 
re-sparked my love for the game. This save file has been so fun to play for me, so I hope you guys really enjoyed as well. I'm just super happy that you guys responded really well to the first episode. I really appreciate everyone who took the time to watch that and commented and told me that they enjoyed it and that they're looking for more episodes, so I'm really happy that you guys are excited for the series as much as I am. She did get a promotion to level 5. I was not expecting to get a promotion that fast. Before you know it, she's gonna get her dream role of being a front page writer eventually. She's gonna reach Theo real quick. Like I said, these two like to compete. Now that Theo's there, I feel like it's given her the extra motivation to work really hard. So in that sense, he is really good company for her as well. I just hope that they don't mess up by being unprofessional. And she's not usually this unprofessional, like making out in the closet at work. Like that's crazy and that's wild to her. She never imagined doing that, but Theo just brings something out in her. That's all I gotta say about that. Comment down below what you guys thought about this episode and your thoughts on the plot and what you think is gonna happen in this, how you think things are gonna play out or what you want to happen. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.